Stop in the name of cake before I gain some weight. First step, breezy you. Spring form pan, parchment paper. A lot of people will cut it, but you got a spring form pan. Just form it around there. I'll cut this extra off. It's just going to come off here anyway. cheesecake first. Halving the traditional craft recipe and adding extra sugar here. We're going to start with the cream cheese. There you go. Two eight ounces of cream cheese, one full cup of sugar. One egg at a time. And instead of a teaspoon of vanilla, I'm adding a teaspoon of grand booty. We'll call it a heaping teaspoon. Now, into the oven, preheated 300 degrees, but instead of the 55 minutes like the recipe said, since it's only a half batch, it's going to be more like 45 to 50 minutes. And we're going to check it periodically and make sure that that center is a little bit set, and then we'll be good. There we go. It is now set in the middle. We're going to put it in the fridge for at least a couple hours, or preferably overnight. Now we're going to make two chocolate rounds. Food scientists have been doing this for decades, and they know what the hell they're doing. So I don't care. I've made cake from scratch before, but it's a pain in the ass. And it's so much easier to use a box mix. When personally, I think it tastes just as good, if not better, than most of the recipes I've seen from scratch. Now, what we are gonna do though, is we're gonna add an extra egg. We're gonna add butter instead of vegetable oil. And we're gonna replace this water with half and half and some of that Bailey's Irish cream. Half a cup Irish cream there. To make up the difference with half and half or milk or whatever. And the rest of it is according to box direct. Real quick butter on our rounds. Divide and pour. Yep, messy boy, just like my wife says. There we go. And into the oven per box directions. And then we're going to take this, mess it up a little bit. Just be careful, we need it intact. That's why it's so important to grease your pan. For now, we're sticking it upside down on this plate or on a wire rack. Yep, next we're going to trace leche these layers. We need to sweet condensed milk, half and half, which is generally milk. And to replace the evaporated milk, we're going to use a lot more of that Irish cream. One cup of milk. Generally there are 12 ounces in evaporated milk. I'm going to go off script here. And we're just going to use 8 ounces of the Irish cream to place that 12 ounces of that evaporated milk. We're not going to need all this. And 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. Since the bottom of the cake is so porous, we don't have to poke holes like we would at the top of a tres leche cake. We can just pour it on here and let it absorb. Remember, we're not going to overdo it. We don't really need the pools of liquid at the bottom of the plate ruining the top of the cake. So. I'm gonna pour a little bit on here, refrigerate, and then come back and then do it again with both layers. Refrigerate, then come back and cut in a second. Make a middle glaze. We're gonna just loosely eyeball some powdered sugar with some liquid until it's a thick consistency like we like. And we're gonna use this as the inside frosting to keep the layers in the tablespoon. And we'll mix. Maybe just a tiny bit. 
tiny bit too thick. Okay, I think that was it. Hi, remember me? I'm a chocolate cake. This bottom layer, we need to take this part off, make it flat. Put on our frosting. Gonna help cement this layer to the cheesecake middle. Okay. Now, this entire thing. It's a very delicate process. Best I can tell you is take your time and if anything goes awry, just try to piece it together and frost over it so nobody recognizes or knows what the hell went wrong. And chances are people will be so busy demolishing your cake, they won't have time to inspect the inside layers. They mainly just gonna see the outside when you first cut into it. There we go. Looking good for there. Right in here, I'm gonna try not to make a mess. Eh, not bad. Trim this middle layer. Just lift this up. With this, that cheesecake is gonna be a lot sturdier, but still, you're gonna have to be extremely careful when putting this on and peeling that parchment paper off of there. And there you go. Yeah, it's not, that's not too bad. That's pretty centered. Now, I am halfway between Gourmet and Ize. And there we go. Just remember when you're frosting, nice, even, long strokes. And always have a little bit of extra frosting. But are we done yet? I don't think so. We got to have a little panache going on here, don't we? Sprinkles, candies, chocolate, chocolate shavings. Get creative about it. Remember, you do you. Irish cream chocolate leche cheesecake, for lack of a better word, right? Irish cream cake, tres leche cake, chocolate cheesecake. Yum, yum.